What's up guys, Mitchell Watts, Tiny Country TV, and today we are looking at the 2018 Roush Jackhammer. Today's video, we're going to show you everything you need to know about the Jackhammer and comparing that to what its predecessor was, the Roush Stage 3. So let's jump in and let's tell you everything you need to know about this vehicle. First up, you'll notice that aesthetically, the vehicle has the exact same front bumper as a normal Mustang. But what Roush does is they actually replace the grille. They also replace the lower chin splitter to give it a more aggressive look. You'll also notice that they replace the heat extractors on top of the hood. And this vehicle has the optional performance top stripe, which which is matte black, which by the way, if you have a matte black top performance stripe, that means that the hockey stripe that you'll have over here on the side will also be matte black. Now you do have the ability to do a different color accent, but we wanted a murdered out theme on this new jackhammer. Some other things that you'll notice, Roush puts their own badging on the side of the vehicle, but they also happen to replace these wheels and tires. And a neat factor about the Roush Jackhammer is that this car is the only Roush that comes with a set of black wheels as standard equipment. Usually with a Roush Performance vehicle, you have to upgrade to the black wheels and not so on the Jackhammer. It's the only vehicle that does that. Now, as we come around to the back of the vehicle, you'll notice that it actually has a low gloss black rear spoiler that matches, not exactly Exactly, but it actually looks really nice in contrast to this top performance stripe. As we mentioned earlier, it runs all the way back to the back of the vehicle. Speaking of back of the vehicle, this vehicle also happens to have a blackout panel in the back where it replaces that GT logo with the Roush and it looks very, very nice, especially on a murdered out theme like this particular car. A couple of other things that they do to the back of this vehicle on top of the normal Mustang GT premium package, you'll notice that you have this rear valence as well that makes it look really nice. Now the Roush Jackhammer actually comes with these black tip Roush Performance exhaust. Now keep in mind if you're buying this vehicle from your dealership and it sounds very, very quiet, that's probably because that dealership left the baffles in from the factory. You have to actually pull those baffles out for the full uh, exhaust note of this car. Now it's kind of nice that you have the ability to put those baffles back in, but that same baffle is the same thing that allows this car to have the available active exhaust where you can literally twist and dial and automatically change the loudness of the exhaust system. Very similar to how the new Mustang GT for 2018 has that as a Ford factory option. The other thing I want to show you as far as the back of the vehicle goes is that now every one of your 2018 Roush Performance vehicles have the American flag put somewhere on the vehicle on the outside. And I think it's a great way to showcase that we're proud to be American and that these cars are proudly built in America. As far as the inside of the vehicle goes, you have a couple different options. This vehicle has the Ford factory leather. You have the ability to go with the Roush upgraded leather that's kind of done after the fact and it looks really, really nice. In addition to that, Roush gives you a shifter ball not actually swapping out the shifter itself, but the ball just for aesthetics, I guess you could say. You have a Roush plaque over here that actually has the serial number. And let's talk about that for a second. So this is serial number 18-0065.jh. And what that means is this is an 18 model and it's the 65th jackhammer that they ever produced. So you have this little serial number here. Now, if you look in the passenger side door jam, you'll find another serial number that does not match this one. And a lot of people ask me, what in the world is that? Why are these numbers different? The badge that's over here in this passenger side door sill actually says 18-1002. And what that means is if this is the 65th jackhammer that they built, this is the 1,002nd overall Roush performance vehicle they built in 2018. Wrapping up the inside of the vehicle, Roush does swap out the instrument cluster so you've got a nice set of gauges and then you also see the billet pedals. Roush Performance has done something completely different underneath the hood of the jackhammer than they've done 
amongst any of the other Mustangs they've ever built before. And that's the fact that this car is prepped for a supercharger package. And the reason that they're doing it this way, uh, and I was actually talking to a couple of the guys at Roush Performance a couple months ago when they were de debuting this vehicle, the idea here is the 2018 Mustang has a brand new engine. Even though it's still a 5.0, it's got a brand new fuel system, meaning you have direct and port fuel injection. Uh, there's a lot of different things that are changed on this engine. And so since you've got this new fuel system, it's actually uh, raising up the available area for a supercharger. And then you have the lower hood line from the, so you really, you have a lot less space to put a supercharger. You have completely different components. And so Roush Performance had to design a brand new supercharger. And that's the reason that the Roush Jackhammer has the, an available 2650 supercharger kit. The reason that they don't send it to the dealers with it installed from the factory is because of a little sticker that you'll find right here underneath the hood. That sticker actually means that it's able to pass 50 state emissions. It has to pass through all of these different inspections that it's simply not ready for in all 50 states. Roush is working on that and they're gonna have it sooner or later, but they did not want to let an entire year pass without offering the supercharged car that they already had the supercharger designed for. And so this is their answer. What Roush Performance does from the factory, they take the front fascia off, they basically disassemble the engine and they prep the engine with the supercharger. So they, they put the extra serpentine belt in, they have bigger, stronger gears, they have a high flow radiator system. There's a, there's a lot of different things that Roush Performance does underneath the hood that is performance minded. So that way, normally what would take like 12 hours to install a supercharger kit is it's probably only going to take that technician if they've done a couple of them maybe three or four hours that's the beauty of it is that now you can say you walk onto the lot in fact if you look at the window sticker here you'll see that the sticker price of the vehicle is 63,000. the nice part about that is this is based on a gt chassis so you get gt mustang incentives and rebates and uh, things like that so you have that so you can say hey i'd like to buy this car for the 63020 just like it sits with no supercharger or for 7187 i can have the remainder of that supercharger kit installed and it maintains the full factory warranty and that's the next huge thing that we've got to talk to you about on this car in the past if you put a supercharger on a roush mustang what, what would happen is, or even on a normal Mustang, what would happen is, is that your five year 60 powertrain warranty would go away and it is now a three year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper and a three year 36,000 mile powertrain warranty. For the first time ever that I'm aware of in any manufacturer, you have a five year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty in, that just blows my mind and not to mention 710 horsepower and 620 pound feet of torque right out of the box so we hope you enjoyed this video we know it's a little bit different than what you've seen in the past so if you like this style of a video make sure to smash that thumbs up button if you haven't done so already make sure to follow me personally on instagram my handle is mitchell s watts and i'll have it linked down below for you as well but if this is your first time on our channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any other videos just like this one thank you so much for watching the video and have a great day <music>